guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a video on Dulce Candy TV. I'm relaxing in my closet and today I wanted to quickly make a video that I promised I was going to make about sleep paralysis, also known as the rich, the rich, the witch riding your back. Okay, I am alone in my closet. Now the reason I'm making this video today is because my hubby experienced this yesterday. Now let's call him Jesse because a while ago, a while back, maybe, um, I don't know, a month ago, I was sleeping in my bedroom upstairs and my boyfriend and I had gone into this, you know, argument so he slept downstairs by himself and I was upstairs with Chanel, my Pomeranian, and we were just sleeping and this happens to me almost every once in a long time like the last time that it happened to me was in Texas that's like a year ago and well the last time was like a, a week ago a month ago but the last time before that it was in Texas and what happens to me well what happened to me that night I was just sleeping and I was sleeping on like face down and I had my hand on my pillow like this so I was pretty much sleeping like this and all of a sudden like I'm awake and this happens I kid you not like 10 till 3 or 3 in the morning and you know that's like the devil's time or whatever and I am a believer of ghost but I've never seen one thank god I've never seen a ghost but I've experienced really creepy things. So, anyways, I was sleeping and, oh my god, I'll tell you the one time it happened to me on a plane. Anyway, so I was sleeping like this and then all of a sudden I wake up, like, I open my eyes and I'm awake. Because I could see around my room. <laughs> I'm getting scared. <laughs> I'm getting scared in my room. Okay, so I was sleeping and then I opened up my eyes and I could see the room and it was dark in there. And, of course, I was sleeping in the bed by myself and all of a sudden I feel something really really hot like touching my hand but not like a touch but more of a feeling it was it was just kind of like a like heat on it. it on this hand that I was on the pillow it was a like it was hot and and then all of a sudden I heard somewhere I read somewhere that if you say a lot of bad words it goes away well that didn't happen so I started saying God, the word God and Jesus a lot, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I was saying it, God, 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 God. I was saying it like that. But I think it only pissed her off even more. The witch, the witch, or they say that it's a witch that gets on top of you and she comes. Oh my God, it's so creepy. That's what they say. But then there's also the scientific term as also known as sleep paralysis, which is what I like to say that it was to make my fit, to make myself feel better. <sighs> but Lord, I don't know what it was. So anyways, in the back of my head, I know it's that that witch. Oh my god, I shouldn't even be talking about it cuz then it's going to happen to me tonight. Anyways, so it happened to me and I opened my eyes and I started saying God, God, God and I guess it only made her more mad or whatever was on top of me but it's like this spirit, this evil thing that just gets on top of you and that you cannot move. Like you are awake but you cannot talk and you cannot move. Okay, so just picture waking up, can't say stuff and then you, you start panicking. I started to panic. I always panic when this happens because I want to talk, I want to move, I'm scared and... I can't so you're scared I'm scared out of my mind because I can't do anything to stop this feeling so I said God and God and it only got worse I only started feeling really bad and I started feeling dizzy and stuff and finally I just said oh my god I'm just not gonna say God anymore and I didn't say it and then it, it went away but as soon as I closed my eyes again it came back and I just opened my eyes and I just moved I went like that turn on the light and I went downstairs I'm like baby I'm scared and then <laughs> he just came back up with me and then I fell asleep and then it didn't happen again so a month later last night my boyfriend and I fell asleep we had taken a nap like at 5 p.m. so we woke up like at 9 so we were not sleepy at all so we were up till like 2 30 in the morning and I was watching um 
the September issue with Anna Wintour again and my boyfriend was on the computer doing something and we were just watching TV at the end and we came upstairs to go to sleep and we weren't like seriously we went to bed like at 2.40 and like at 2.50 he I, all I heard him I was sleeping like on his chest and all I heard was like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. and I was like baby baby wake up I was shaking him I'm like what's wrong and he's like, mm, mm, like he had his eyes closed and then he finally I stopped shaking him and I was awake because I, I was trying to go to sleep we were both trying to go to sleep and then he just he woke up and he turned on the light and he's like, oh shit and I'm like oh my god it happened to you and he's like yeah and then he doesn't get scared but I'm like oh, he felt like freaked out so I'm like oh my god I'm scared I'm like and so I'm like, okay, just turn on the bathroom light so we can sleep with the, the light on. Because I was scared and I was already like, like, I don't know, scared. So I didn't want to sleep in the dark. And any little noise that I heard was like freaking me out. And yesterday they went to the vintage, um, to the flea market. I thought it was like from the vintage dresses that I brought. I'm like, maybe it's the spirit coming back for the dresses. I don't know. I might sound really crazy right now that you're hearing me talk. But it freaked him out and I... I heard him, like, I, I was awake, I heard my boyfriend trying to speak, but he couldn't even say nothing. He was, like, trying to talk, and he, um, he said that he felt somebody shake him. I'm like, yeah, that was me, I was trying to shake you and awake, and wake you up, because I knew he was going through that, because he's not gonna just go, like, mm, mm, you know what I mean? So, that's what happened, and that happened last night. <laughs> it happened to me in the airplane, and it was freaky. I was, like, I was going back to, um... Uh, Maine, no, Maryland, because I lived in Maryland because of the military for like three months. So on my way back from California to the airplane to Maryland, I was sitting with two other guys in the military. So it was just the three of us, you know, and I was on the corner window way in the back of the plane. And I went like, I was sleeping like this because I always sleep with my mouth open when I'm in a plane. I'm like, I was like that. I was all drooling and stuff. And Next thing I know, like, I just opened my eye, and I was awake, but I couldn't move. And then I just see this little creature going, going like that in front of the person in front of me, like this evil, like, little devil-looking thing. And I swear to you, I was, I was awake. And I was like, oh my god, that's creepy. And then it turned around and looked at me, and I just closed my eyes, and then I just opened them. And then I was able to move again, I was like, <sighs> I was all breathing hard and stuff, but it was really creepy, and... I hope it doesn't happen to me, but I want to know, how do you guys deal with this? Because this is really creepy. Even if it's sleep paralysis, a scientific thing, that's something really creepy that your body goes through and your brain goes to. Because they say that it's your, your brain is awake, but your body is still sleeping, which is why you can't move. But then, you know, a lot of tales, a lot of tales say that it's the rich that gets on top of you or it's the dead person that gets on top of you or I heard to that... It's your spirit that walk that gets out of your body and it's just wandering around carelessly. But then you wake up and your spirit's not there so you can't move. So I heard a lot of things but I want to know how you guys deal with this and if you've ever experienced anything like this. Leave me a video response. Leave me something because I... Like, it really makes me feel better when you guys tell me what to do. Like, this one girl told me to put a butter knife under my pillow, and I did, and it didn't happen to me. But what I try to do is just pray before I go to bed, and I have, like, this big cross of Jesus laying next to my bed now. So, I sleep a lot better, but it still creeps me out. I don't like sleeping upstairs alone. Okay, now that I am scared, please, alright, it's a scary video. Late. <laughs> okay, bye.